Good Woo! morning, good afternoon, baby. What's Welcome back on? to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Before we start, we have big news. Very Atten exciting. Attention for all of our people that live in Florida. We are going to be doing a happy hour tasting tour. So we're going to be there from August 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. We're going to be hitting four different Total Wine locations uh, across Florida. And we're hitting Total Wine locations because that's where you get happy hour, that's baby. That's right, baby. The best tequila seltzer on planet Earth. You guys know that we've been drinking this pretty much for the past year and a half. We talk about it all the time. You see it on the podcast all the time. So if you guys do want to see us, come hang out, try some happy hour. You do have to be 21 and over to attend the event. Because Total Wine is a liquor store and you cannot get in without showing a proof of ID that you're 21. The first location on the 11th is going to be Orlando. Then we're going to Palm Beach Gardens on the 12th. On the 13th, we're going to be in Sarasota. And then on the 14th, we're going to be in Port Charlotte. If if you want the exact details of the address of the locations, we're going to have that in the description below so you can see exactly where uh, we will be. Exactly. We have four different links for each stop. So if you are able to make the Orlando one or Sarasota one, whichever stop you can make, just click that link, sign up, hit that you're going, and that's it. And we're also going to be giving away free signed happy hour t-shirts by Zane and I uh, to the first hundred people that show up at each location. So if you do want to go again, click the link in the description below, and we're excited to see you guys and give you some happy hour. All right, perfect. Let's start the episode, baby. Make sure everyone's phone's on silent. I tend to forget that. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't turn it off most of the times and I just don't get texts throughout the episode. So that's embarrassing. But I don't get is that now they like share your focus status with other people. What does that mean? Yeah, what like you're that? in a, have you ever, have you ever been texting a friend and it says this person has their notifications on silence? Yes. No. Yeah. That's been happening to me a uh, lot. Or, or I see the one while driving. Oh yeah. But like, I never approved but, but like someone, them. like someone, someone's driving. Like you get there's a, there's a setting you can turn on. So if you're, if you get into the car, you won't get any texts or calls. My mom oh, does it. Like Alex, I like that. when I text him if he's driving, it'll send an automatic text back saying like- Alex has that, yeah. Alex Newman. You know his mom made him turn that on. Yeah. <laughs> I've never gotten that text, so I've never texted him while he was driving. But that's a yeah. little personal. You don't need to know the details that I'm driving. Imagine if you were lying to somebody being like, yeah, you were driving. Uh, yeah, I'm just but, sitting at home. Yeah, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm sitting, yeah, I'm, I'm there doing a thing. And they go, well, it says you're driving. That's none of their business. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I don't like? Now when I go through my pictures, I see every single picture I've ever been texted. Wait, I, what? It's so bizarre. Wait, if you, if uh, you go through your camera roll, yeah, there'll be pictures that were sent to you in a text message what? that, uh, and it'll say like a, a, an initial of who texted it to you and it puts it in your camera oh, roll. Oh, I don't have really? one to update you guys. Yeah, have. it's so weird. I've had shared album things where like the photo's there, but I haven't fully saved it, but it's part of like, wherever it is chronologically, but I haven't. Oh yeah, you it's have, so like, the, weird. Uh, you see, that's why I don't update my phone. Cause um, I hate all the fucking updates. I, yeah, I don't I'm like- I'm trying to see. Heath's, Heath's screen, his home screen. That's, I've never seen that before. Like this. So that video was texted of Jason doing the speech and it has that text bubble. And now it's in oh, my- Oh, that's- I don't know why. Anything to fill up your storage. Exactly. Buy a new phone. That's exactly what's going on. That's Such ridiculous. Bullshit. How much do you pay a month for your storage? I don't. Or wait, what, you don't I, buy- I have the premium iCloud storage. I pay shit. two terabytes. That's what I pay I'm not for. sure, but I know I pay I know I'm get charged monthly. I pay like ten dollars a storage. month for it just for the peace of mind. That's insane. Ten dollars a month just for a little bit of extra storage and phone. It's the cloud. That's on some server somewhere. I know, I know. It's just I love the top, Mariah. Thank you. I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last episode. Me, oh, <laughs> it's all right. Me, it was a week ago. Me and Mariah are matching and Matt and, and, Heath, and Heath are matching. Are matching. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's cute. We're cute. Coordination. My, wearing my favorite is that Terry jer cloth? My favorite jersey. Yeah, you want to touch it? There's <laughs> look, no back. Is that, is that Terry cloth? <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's really yeah. nice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you you look like a, like a pop star, but like you're taking a break. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. The shirt before the shirt. It's like, it's like, it's like very Lindsay Lohan. Thank you. Back when she was, you know. When she was, when what? She was what? Is she is just she, like a big actress? <laughs> when she was like doing movies and shit. I know. Taking a break. I don't know. I don't know where it was going. She was that. adorable. Give me a break. She about the JoJo Siwa and the Candace. Oh yeah. DJ from. Or oh, oh, you know Matt. You know what? That popped up on my TikTok page, and I scrolled right past. <laughs> I, she started talking, and for ten seconds later, I was just like, "This isn't capturing my attention." And then yeah, I just, yeah. I fucking kept going. Well. Yeah. Tell you us. know what happened? Yeah. Okay, you, happened? you know there's that trend where people will have their phones and it's like, who is like your biggest celebrity crush? And the person flashes a picture of okay. who it is really but fast. But people are using it. I don't like how people are using it 
almost bullying, like the <laughs> the least favorite person you've ever met. I'm like, that's and you're just seeing their reaction. Yeah, people are just like, do that's yeah, terrible. people are doing it as a joke, and it's just like. Um, so for the the bit where it says who's like the rudest celebrity you've ever met, I think that's what the the tie the cue of it. She flashed it, and people realized it was um, Candace. What's her last name from Full Cameron? House? Candace, Candace Cameron, Cameron. and not, and not as a joke. Um, no, not as a joke. But then Candace was like oh, trying to reach shit. out to JoJo and was like, "I want to get on a call. Like, what's up? I hear you just shared this thing oh on TikTok." God. And apparently, when JoJo Siwa was like 11 years old, she was on a red carpet, probably back in like the whatever that dance. dance moms, yeah, uh, and went up to her and asked to get a picture. And Candace said, "I'm sorry," or she said, "Not right now." That's what she said. Yeah. And then Jojo was like, well, that was rude. And so she did that. But that's what the whole thing was about. Wow. Silly. Candace. So Candace is the girl that got that um, was on the phone. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. But she wanted to clear up that PR, All you right. know, yeah, because if yeah. you're having, that's yeah. why don't ignore who, uh, who's someone's coming up to you. That was good PR for Candace though. It got her name out there for a day. That's good. And not in a good way. It, well, I mean, bad publicity is still good publicity or is still publicity. Sorry. I got that. Has, that one up. Has there ever been like a a fan of you who has like said something that they met you and you were awful and you're like, that's um, not true. I know, I 100% know that there's people out there that have met me and they walked away with a bad experience, 100%. Because there's times where you just catch me on a very bad day or I'm like, fucking, I'm overwhelmed and like everything around me is just, I feel like the world's like closing in and like they'll meet me at that moment. And what I normally do is just completely ignore and just like go the other way and that's probably what I did and that's probably what, they see. So what do you have so to say to the few people that have done that? I'm so sorry. I you should um, hop on a phone call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just give me your number and I'll call you and I'll apologize. Uh, <laughs> through, 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 uh, kiss me through the phone. Kiss me through the phone. <laughs> but, I mean, most times in public in general, I just get overwhelmed. Who was the worst celebrity you've ever met? Show it on your phone. Don't say it out loud. The only celebrities I met are whoever showed up at David's house. So yeah. it's always been nice. They've always been nice, yeah. right? They've always yeah. like- There's been like a formal introduction. Yeah. Yeah. Into there, there hasn't been, I don't think, I mean, on a mistake because I may forget, is there any celebrity that I've come up to you and be like, damn, that was a really bad encounter? Uh, I don't think so. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> 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 I had a couple that it was, it was my fault. <laughs> I you know, made it a bad experience. I feel like it's always been like surprisingly good stuff. Or it's just like very like, you know, or you see them and they're like not smiling. So you're like, and you're like, oh, I, f I thought they were always in a good mood. You know who's the sweetest bad person bad ever? Bad uh, beans. You met oh, Beans? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, From I, the, uh, even Stevens Beans. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. At the bar right here. Yeah. Right there, he's there all the time. Is he living in the neighborhood? I think so. Yeah, gotta keep an eye super, out for beans. Super, super, super <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> he, he, he was just like Zane. You want you know the right guy right there? Beans from even the Stevens. I was like, you're fucking li like. That's just someone you never thought expect to see yeah. ever in your entire life, we're, and he's just sitting there. We uh, we were talking one night, and we got talking about golf. He's like, we should go golfing sometime. I was like, yeah, absolutely. And then like I, I thought he would forget about it, but he just commented on one of my pictures the other day and was Get like, out. still want to go golfing well, yeah, with you. When we, when and I was like, golfing. let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come out. That's Shit. really funny. Wow. Well, you should definitely take him to golf. Right? Yeah. After this intro. Let's get uh, it, babe. All right. It's Coffee Talk, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are unfiltered. That's baby. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, we just hanging. Hope you're having a lovely Monday slash Tuesday. I always say that. Having a lovely Monday slash Tuesday day. Hope or everything if is coming your way. Or if you're early on the Patreon. Yes. Saturday, or, Sunday, whenever you're watching. Saturday, Sunday. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, we love you guys. And let's get uh, let's get right into it. How's the day been? Um, Honestly, I'm there, pretty. There is a rocket heading towards. You didn't hear about it? America. No. Yes. We're hoping it lands in the water. <laughs> Mariah's, Wait, on uh, uh, Mariah's on conspiracy, uh, conspiracy TikTok. TikTok right Wait, now. Wait, it's still in the air? How much time it's is so that? funny this this girl posted this whole thing about this rocket and she showed the grid of the US and where it's like aiming towards and they're keeping an eye on it it's supposed to be Saturday but there's also like it could be 16 hours before Saturday or 16 hours after Saturday this weird thing Block all the comments were like 
excuse me, a rocket? Like, <laughs> no one's heard of Wait, this. Wait, so there's a rocket coming to the USA. Is it's this our in- last podcast? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Mariah, right here. you got to give us a little That's bit more That's all detail. I got. That's that is it? all I got. I thought you were what bullshitting. I was playing along with it just to get oh, a rise out of Matt. Jordan, look that up. That's a slow-ass rocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2022. <laughs> Make it go faster. It's Doesn't bo- it it's, fall fast? It's Bob's big boy from... <laughs> <laughs> The rocket is sponsored by the DMV. <laughs> Stop. Uncontrolled debris from Chinese space rocket could crash back to okay, Earth. Okay, debris, and- Mariah. Debris. Oh, okay. So it's Think not- about how big a rocket is. A debris could be the size of the room. Yeah, that's true. Are yeah. you kidding Catastrophic. Me? Bad, bad. Do you remember when the, the, chal- the Challenger exploded? Do you remember that? What's the Challenger? It's a little dark. Yeah. We're starting oh, off that on show, a dark that note. show on MTV. <laughs> no. <laughs> The Challenger. Do you remember yes, being yes, in elementary yes. school where the astronauts were coming back to Earth and it disintegrated? Or I don't did remember it take watching off? No, it. No, I think it took off. Oh. It took off and exploded in the yeah, end. Yeah, but that happened. was like one of the saddest yes. days. Oh, yes. Horrible. In, te- in Texas, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, people's debris debris was falling in people's backyards. Oh, my God. Oh, but a big, a big thing they had to say was like, if, if there is a space, like, debris in your backyard, do not go up and touch it because it's filled with like so much chemical yeah. radioactivity. Oh man. Good to know. Wow. You, and you know in Beyonce's song XO, that song, I, I, I love know. you like XO. XO. Okay. And it starts off, it's like, uh, something's gone wrong. We don't know. That is the audio, I'm pretty sure, from the Challenger explosion. No way. That's, that's bad. There's no way. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. Yeah, they did that. I'm like, that's, imagine your dad was an astronaut, died in the Challenger, right? Beyonce was like, <laughs> that <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Baby, oh. hey, that's, okay, let's let's fact check, fact check. We gotta fact check that. Beyonce Challenger. If they, that's wait, the can case, we, that's really Can we look bad. at this rocket first? Yeah, let's look at the rocket after. Um, have you guys ever seen Beyonce responds to astronauts angry Ooh, over okay, her so use of uh, using the angry? Or, oh my God, that's how do you not like well, let's, think about here, that? Well, let's, now it that's out. tone. Well, let's let's yeah. think about this. Beyonce probably had no clue that that came from that audio. Right? Yeah, but the producer did. I'm sure. They no, pro- I'm saying the producer they probably, probably. Like, this is a fire idea and they were probably so excited. I know, but I have a feeling he put in the song and they were like, Beyonce, why don't you listen to this? And she heard and she's like, I love that. But like, he probably probably didn't tell her. By the way, this is from the the space challenger. The catastrophe. Yeah. Sorry, we're back. Let's back up. Oh, we're talking about the debris. Over the rocket now. We're not Got talking it. about, okay. Just go to images. We are all over the place. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have zero information. I, ju- I just heard it. I mean, as long as it's not a fucking missile. You know what I mean? I don't want a nuke coming. But have you seen those clips of like, you know those clips where like those informational like TikToks where they're like, if this nuke came and hit this side of how the big US, of a, how big yeah, of an yeah, explosion yeah. it would be? I saw, it was like minute video and they're showing each nuke how big catastrophic how big like each like, one was just like uh, like one missile hit, like uh, the enti- this entire city gone. that's what <laughs> and then um, flattened <laughs> i'm excited for that oppenheimer movie like oh. the guy can you imagine being the guy who invented the atom bomb like you invented the bomb that can destroy cities destroy worlds that's like insane that like you you, you invented be, it you and sick. now now you created You're a world a where it's person. possible like that is, it's insane that it exists because it's a battle There's of arms. No Nobody need. will ever drop an atom bomb. There's no need for bombs like that. Like, why? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Why do you, like, Because if a, someone. I, <laughs> I, it's because somebody did it just to be able to to be the person that, you, you know what, don't fuck with him because he's got an I'm atom bomb. bomb. And then if you know somebody else has it, you're like, well, shit, I got to make one so I can at least That's what be, the Cold War was, man. It was just a standoff yeah. of like, well, they have this, therefore we need to build this. And the guy who made it regrets ever fucking making it. Yeah, I bet. I'm <laughs> the creator of evils or the death of worlds or something like that. Uh, or the worlds. But I want to know how, so if the debris falls in your backyard, when do the men in black show up? Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Like, I want like, when is the fucking, it becomes stranger things up in there. The yeah. government guys in the suits just going boop. You didn't see anything. Mm, I don't know. Or do you sell it? Do you own? Do you own it, or do they own it? If it lands in your property, I think it should be finders keepers, like people that find treasure and they get so excited. Like you just found a whole treasure chest of gold, and you can't even do anything with it because it's going to get seized. That no sucks. Wait, that's like legally it gets seized. Yeah. 
But do you find treasure in your property, on your property? Yeah, or if you find it in the ocean, are you, wait, like that. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, you can't do anything with it. Wait, I, wait, I, you tell me, what? A, yeah, a lot of people, or if you find like a, an artifact that's worth like an insane amount of money, you can't do anything. Like, oh, that happens in the movie Uncharted with Tom yeah. Holland that's out. Yeah, there's like a, something about that where they can't get it because once it's like seized in the water or something. There was, oh. a, there was a, um, that one lady who bought something uh, from a Goodwill and it ended up being this insanely oh, yeah. rare 100 century wood, like just a really old artifact. And you know artifact. what? Good for her. And that was worth like 500,000 a million dollars or something like that. And whoever runs the the collectibles for shit back then, I don't fucking know the name of it, but right. uh, they came in and were like, you can't have that. That is something. Is it property of the church? Is it something that it, was- It wasn't the church. Um, was, it, was it stolen from the church and then it made its way to Goodwill or- <laughs> No, it's just like- <laughs> They, you know I, have, what I, mean? I have fantasies where I just want to work at Goodwill and just go through stuff and like <laughs> Google it being like, yeah, what's this? Yeah, All right. yeah. Yeah. But that's you wouldn't actually, know what would be valuable or not. I, I guess, but I, I would have enough time to Google it. Pot with a uh, I mean, painting. Like, I love Antique Roadshow. I want to go to one of those. My favorite is the reaction of people who find out the value of whatever their item is. They have no idea. They they go in with like something their but, their mom but gave do them. They 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 damn well know what it's. Or else worth. you wouldn't be going in there to, yes. in the first place. Google it. You can just do Google image search on whatever it is you have, and it would come up and tell you what the worth is, right? Yeah. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, DoorDash. Summer is in full swing, baby, and the celebration begins during the summer of Dash Pass by DoorDash. With weekly members only offers and new items released every week, you can shine bright and feel cool all season long. So say hello to summer savings during the summer of Dash Pass for DoorDash. With zero delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make your summer memorable. And with your Dash Pass by DoorDash membership, you can save on average of 4 to $5 every order you place for delivery or pickup. That means on average, it pays for itself when you order just twice a month. With members only offers and items dropping every week, you'll have everything you need to make the most out of summer right at your fingertips. So go on, baby. Shine bright during DoorDash's summer of Dash Pass and get 50% off your first order up to a $15 value. All you got to do is use promo code Code unfiltered 2022 at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to $15 in value when you sign up for DoorDash during summer of Dash Pass using promo code unfiltered 2022. One more time, baby, so you don't forget it. That's code unfiltered 2022 for 50% off your first order up to a $15 value. Thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to get Dash Pass, baby. We love you. Mm. Do you have like an antique or like an heirloom that you think is like worth a lot of money that like is in your family? You're like, ooh, I'd love to get my hands on that. Probably. Yes. What is it? Um, my parents have it in the house. It's, uh, I don't remember how they got it, but it was like traded for something from my Nana, my Mima. The <laughs> Mima. <laughs> Stop <laughs> no, well, I, I, I fucking I did hate not that term. Meemaw. I just think it's so funny. When I said Nana, it reminded me of Mima. What about Mima and Pop Poopa? That guy whatever. made a video on it. He goes, if you're still calling your grandma Mima, stop that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's this uh it's this giant uh framed artwork piece that is all made out of yarn and it's a woven uh portrait of this giant landscape with like a river and like a bridge and like this house thing. Uh, but it was from, I guess, like, I think World War One, um, And it's from somewhere or something, but I think it's it's worth like an insane amount well, of do money. Do they have to seize it for Mima now, the government? No, my, 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 my parents have it. Oh, your parents have um, it now. But it, it looks really sick. It's all hand done with like thread. Um, I don't even know what it would be worth, but it's pretty sick. Yeah, Picassos are pretty cheap. So, tell them to send a picture. I want to see it. My parents bought, went to like, a, it's a museum of modern art. That's the one that's in New York. And David Hockney like had an exhibit, just a poster, bought a poster of the exhibit. And now the probably bought the poster for like 20 bucks. Now the poster's worth like $3,000. Just the poster. Wow. Yeah. We need to start investing has in a, art. We should. For museums. That's why I have a David Hockney uh, lithograph above my bed. The one that's in plexiglass that hangs right there. Wait, I thought that was, you printed that at FedEx and put 
That's the uh, that's the, that's Cor- the copy. That's of the, the Le Corbusier. Yeah. Oh that God, one is it that one you printed out? Okay. The, no, the one I have above is like. Uh, <laughs> Sorry it's a pretty. Bottom. It's not like it's a, a, in my head. Uh, that's not the peace treaty. That's a copy of the peace treaty. <laughs> it's not a. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, sorry, not that. Go go go. It's not a Hockney painting, but it's like a lithograph. But it's a really nice version of like one of his prints. But I don't know. I spent like three or four hundred dollars, and David Hockney's still alive, and I think he's in his nineties. So when he dies, we're just hoping he yeah, dies just, quick. Let's get that money, let's baby. Go. Hit it. <laughs> let's, let's get go. it. But then I think if you had a, a ten million dollar painting, would you sell it or would you keep it? I. What if it was somebody very important? He goes, "I've had this forever. I've always loved you, Heath. Take this." It's sold the next round. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't Big question. It. Let's go. Wouldn't question it. Because uh, yeah, 55, 55, 55, 55. Because I because I don't like I don't I because I don't care about art like that like other people do. So in my head it's like wow I need that like I want the ten million. And somebody else is gonna appreciate it more Ex- than exactly. You. But it's yeah. the honor of who gave it to you. Like what if it was? I, I, like, oh, the value. I get it. What if it was like. Oh, Hank Williams is dead. Or I'm trying to think, what if like Toby Keith, I don't know why, Toby, like gave you like, Heath, I love you, man. Have this, please. Who, who and you're cares? like, that's the worst is, worst is that you're like, I want to sell this. With the honor of like- If oh. I needed the money, I would sell it. If it was something that I was like, you know, I I, I wouldn't want to. But I'd if I the, got- I'd sell the ownership, but I'd still be like, you can have it, but I keep it, but you own it. As long as- you know what I mean? But it stays in your house. <laughs> this is why I wouldn't want to keep something like that in my house. Number one, because I would either lose it at Robbery. some point in my life. Number two, I get broken in <laughs> too many times and I feel like that shit would get stolen. And I'd probably think about that every time I leave my house. Like, oh, I have a $10 million painting in my house mm-hmm. and no one's in the house. What if it's gone one day when I come back? I'd rather that in cash form in my bank account because you can't steal that. One day you're going to be able to steal it. What One if day. your what if your great grandmother Mariah gave you like a 3 million dollar necklace and it went down to you? What would you? That's different. Okay. Like my grandmother, yeah. I would keep it. 3 mil. Yeah. T- 10 mil. Right, we're not we're not recording right now. <laughs> Let's go higher. When oh, when do we when do we when do we turn in the back on grandma to get the cold hard cash? <laughs> no, because grandma's always watching. That's the thing. Grandma's always watching. Yeah. It's that Mariah Gill. Her grandma. My grandma or my, my grandma would never be watching me. Did you did you see how much the jackpot is up to for the, the lottery? What is it? One point something billion? It's over a billion dollars. For the lottery. Like one person is gonna get that billion. Yeah. That's crazy. That I, is that is absolutely I, absurd. I just hope it goes to somebody who needs it, you know? <laughs> I just I really don't understand do. why one person needs a billion. Like when it comes to like a lottery, like you could easily split that to like a thousand I people, I, or I even think the 10, lottery should be five hundred thousand dollars max because that's a lot yeah, of money. It's, it's cra- but does that make sense? Like not like there should so all much, be going. I l- I love it knowing that there is that that little ticket that can win and change your life. Yep, yeah, five hundred thousand dollars can change your life. Correct, but a billion. <laughs> I feel like more they'd make more money. Whoever's running these lotteries, they'd make more money if they knew that more people were winning. Yeah. Instead of one person. Yeah. How much of the sales goes to the state? Um, well, if you take the cash prize. In the lottery, basically, don't they keep like 50% and then they put the other 50% into the winnings and that it keeps piling up. So the people are paying, paying, paying. There was yeah. a cash. That's why the government um, loves that shit. There's Fucking so half. many There's so many different types of lotteries out there. Like it's. That's pretty crazy that half of that billion dollars. Yeah, I agree though. I think more people should win and they should make. So hold on, hold on. They're going to take half from every sale. And then they're gonna tax you on it and take another half. That's a fucking lottery, baby. Like, <laughs> okay, like, no, fuck it. Take but the but the lotteries you have no right. No, like, but that lottery's does. coming from everybody else's money, though. You know what I mean? That's a lottery. That's what the point I is. I know, but the government shouldn't take half of that. That's not fair. Yeah, it's should be called. You know what I mean? Have you ever known somebody who has won the lottery? Not no. like a, a substantial amount like that. Yeah, not not like a gas station like ticket. Like, I know people that won the lottery at like in Vegas. There was like, a, a family function. I knew growing up that did win the lottery. Not, I uh, I think it was maybe a couple million, but we didn't find Ooh. out until uh, a few years later. Like they moved, they got a better house, everything. Yeah. Like we were like, what? Oh, they must be doing really well. Just hush, hush. And then like five or six later, we found out, oh. 
they hit the lottery. They, they hit the lottery, but you, that's the thing is you don't tell people. You have to, you can't lottery. tell anybody because yeah. the moment other people like your neighbors find out, no one like fucking want, like no one like likes you anymore. That's why or, it's like, always they, the idiot kid who like wins the lottery. Who's like 18 years old and goes on TV and is like there yeah. with the big check. Like, and then their shit gets stolen fucking three weeks later. Or, like people just take well, advantage. There's a pretty crazy statistic of people that win the lottery and then end up going completely broke afterwards because they don't know how to like manage it. They, yeah. They don't that's know what to do that. with it. And they just, just blow it all end up. There's a really great movie that just came out with uh, Brian Cranston and Annette Benning called uh, Bill and Marge Go Large. And it's about a couple oh, back in two, 2003, 2004 figured out uh, he was like a good hardworking man, but wanted to retire, but still didn't even have anything up uh, saved up to like provide for his family. And he figured out there was uh, this like error in this lottery. And then um, was able to then start racking up what, like what do you millions. mean there's an error in this in the lottery? It, it's it's so mathematical where it's hard for me to even explain, okay. but it's based on a true story. But what was really great is he ended up creating a fund with all of his like community and was able to like help make his friends a bunch of money and give back to like this dead town. And then mm. these Harvard students, a Harvard kid, figured out how to beat it and was like challenging him. The whole movie God, is based on it. a true story. Based on a true cool. story. That's in, that's insane. E, like yeah. even the McDonald's sh the McDonald's uh. Like uh, lottery, Ooh, things, Monopoly. Oh, Monopoly. It's insane how that was real. Like that seems like a movie script, like just a fake movie. But that shit was real. They were taking that and what, like I forget what the story was. But did you play the McDonald's lot? Oh, you didn't go to McDonald's. Like the, uh, on your soda, on your on your. Uh, oh, you didn't go to McDonald's. Well, you only you went can once. explain it. Okay, so um, on on uh, on, the wanna, on the McDonald's cups, they'd have this like it was Monopoly. A Monopoly that you'd you peel it off, and you'd have to you have to collect like three of like the same. Like pieces or something, and if you have it's all monopoly. three, monopoly. Yeah, yeah. You collect three of the same pieces, then you win like a million dollars. Like you win the lottery or a, a jet million? ski. <laughs> yeah, what? it was insane. And but this couple um, knew somebody that worked at the place that made those tickets, and so they were able to like find those three all the time. And so and then uh, what in the Veruca salt? The people like so everybody that, everybody that was winning were all. They all lived in the same town, all like just streets apart. Did they stop it after? And after that? like the fifth win in that same town, everyone the, the cops were like, Something's "Wait a up. second. <laughs> Cause it was so funny, like them interviewing the people, and they're like, Isn't it crazy that you won? And they're like, Mm-hmm. Mar I can't believe it. Right. You gotta watch that just for just for those That's videos for that footage of them all being yeah. interviewed and they're all trying to come up with how they won it. It's so fun to watch. Speaking of winning money, you guys just went to Vegas. What happened? What I was down? up a lot. <laughs> every no, time, you, every time I get back, you I'm like, left up, right? Zach Justice told me that you were up eight hundred uh -huh. and that you were in the green, and I was like, <laughs> I'll hear the story. Uh, I ended up losing the the winnings. We got a little greedy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> overall, I'm down like four hundred bucks for this. The trip. But like you know, I respect how Heath plays because he puts the money in and then he that's like he knows that he's gonna like, or he says I'm gonna lose this and I'm gonna leave yeah. with losing this. So no, like, he not, yes, he no, does. No, no, he does. Like, he, whatever he, I I'm like I'm willing to. Like what lose are you this. okay with losing? Right. Yeah. I don't go like I'm bringing this. I need to come back with. Oh. I'm like okay. This is how much I'm willing to lose to have fun gambling. Yeah. Okay. But he this won't go. I'm experience. okay with it. But you get a little froggy though. Like you'll be starting yeah. hitting it and he's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he'd be putting that like 50 on that bonus buster, like the easy bust and the fucking side <laughs> bets. That's where they get to the side bets. I know. I've seen times in my life, Heath, you've had like a, a castle of, yeah. of chips. We we were doing really good on roulette too. Oh, yeah, we I had, were doing good. Oh, quite a bit of money sitting there. And then it, I. You blowing on the dice, Mariah? Like you do the red, red. She was my good luck charm. Yeah, every time I every time I showed up at the table, he was up and up and up. I but just, I just get I get bored. I'm just like okay. I think when okay, you start getting is, bored, you is, gotta leave. This is really bad because if I'm if I go okay, I'm willing to lose a thousand dollars on this trip, and I'm up three hundred bucks. I'm like I really don't fucking care. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I I have a hard time just being like okay, cool. Let's walk with three hundred. I'd rather be like, all right, let's test it. Like, right. if I'm going to win, I want to fucking go like, and be like, like when I we won $15,000. You know exactly, what I mean? Like, yeah. then I'd be like, let's get out. Yeah, we're out. When you we know? were at the slots and we put in $50 and you were up $7, I, pr I pulled out. Oh, I was shit. like, good. <laughs> good. seven. Let's go to the next machine. Yeah, and just yeah, like, I was like, good. You did so went to the, good. Went to the food court and got a Sabaro pizza for <laughs> seven bucks. <laughs> fucking made this trip worth I it. I blew my money the, too, though. I lost all my money. Yeah, the big cheese. 
uh, slot machine was. I we we got to a point. I was pulling out at the right time. As soon as I was over five dollars, I was like perfect, and I pulled it out. But because it, it was it's fun playing for a long time, like the slots. But there was a point where um, I have no idea what I was about to say. Uh, Big cheese. <laughs> Big cheese. Oh, she's um, singing for slots on them. Um, she she gets fixated on like the the numbers and the bing 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 and the bells. She's like, I need to hear that again. I don't care if I'm winning. I just yeah, need it to like go to the like bonus round. She goes to volume and goes max. <laughs> yeah, you'd love Candy Crush then. Um, no. <laughs> um, but we got to a point like. At the, we got back this morning. We drove back at like like two a.m. Right, Jeez. Uh -huh. and um, but so we were playing till like one a.m. And we were playing, and it was just the two of us in the casino, and it wasn't rowdy because it was a Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. It wasn't rowdy. Everybody was like so nice to each other, and every nobody was like super drunk. And I was just enjoying myself, so I like put in three hundred dollars, and I walked Whoa. out. I walked out with nothing. <laughs> It went but a quick. good time. <laughs> but I was at the point where I was that's like, a ace, "That's an Ace Fest ticket." It's almost like I did it on purpose, though. I, it's almost like I put in the money and I kept going until I got to zero, and then I just left. I, was like, I didn't want to go back up. I was like, "Okay, we're almost done." And I said, "By the time I lose this money, we'll let." That'll because be what if that Literally. last ten dollars is the winner? You know what I mean? It's the burn it, burn it. Look at look at Mariah on her first hit ever. <laughs> no, that was the first. Oh, I love that sound. That sound. <laughs> wow, yeah, that is a... And I love it when... No, but they did all that for like $3. <laughs> oh, I hit, I hit, I hit one machine, machine it go was going crazy, crazy. And people were gathering around because it looks like you won and the sound and everything's vibrating and like there's people around looking and it went up like two and a half dollars. It was so stupid. It's, the guy behind me was like, that was it. <laughs> I was like, I know. Two dollars. It's crazy. crazy how they like, re like reel you in those I, machines. Yeah. It's nuts. It's amazing. I love it. They're Everything spraying, about they're it. They're spraying something in the air. This yeah. the the guy. You know the 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 bankers there where you like cash your chips in. Um, <laughs> I had been like going back and like I would give them the the coins and then I get my money, and then towards the end of the night I found like forty uh, forty uh, dollars worth of chips in my pocket and I was like, all right, fuck it, let me just go cash this out. I don't feel like throwing it on something, and I walked up and I set it there and he laughed at me. He dead ass looked at me and was like. <clears throat> He was like, all right, here we go. Let's get you paid. And then he went 5, 10, 15, 20. And, like, and he just like gave it to me. And I was just like, he like gave me this look. And then he was like, don't blow at all. He literally Jesus. said that. And I was like. He's poor shaming you. It, yeah, I, I felt like really pissed. The $40, $40 is a lot. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if someone's coming up with $40 worth of chips, though. Like, that's. Right. What, what hotel are we at? Where are we gambling? That was at Resort World. Hey, Oh, resort world. <laughs> resort world is a, is a, is a oh, nice. It's, a really, it's really nice. I just acted it's like. big. Bad name. Resort world. Resorts. Well, there's like, we had it is like, like a resort. It's like, there's it's like a hotels. mall. Yeah. It, there's like three hotels within it's it. It's actually like, a pretty good hotel. It's like it's really, really wide really nice. and open. Yeah. It's, it's just very nice. Name, name it something fancy instead of resort world. It's like Res Sea World and like Disneyland Resort. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out why they would call it resorts world. Is it because it's a like. A trifecta? It is like a resort though. It's or like, yeah. it's tropical, like a hard, tropical it's theme. like a hard rock. It, no, it's not. Resort tropical. doesn't no. mean tropical. No, but like, but like, it's like a resort. When you go to a resort, you think of like a tropical hotel. Man, I thought that's maybe what they're trying to do. Resorts. I don't know. Anyway, uh, love your resort. I, I, I am the spokesperson for Resorts World. I'm just trying. I to did say win uh, six hundred bucks golfing uh, I, I, as a casual bet with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, what are we playing? Are we playing like a per hole kind of a thing, or we're reaching uh, towards a? Yeah, it was uh, on the back nine. It was five hundred for the back nine. Uh, whoever won Truthful. and then my buddy who I was betting against he he wanted to at least try to like win some back he's like all right last hole you already got me beat just last hole let's do a hundred bucks on top of it oh boy and I was like oh, fuck and you it, just right. beat, you beat him every and time I, I beat him again and I I made 600 bucks so I technically didn't do that bad out there game he like. actually likes to play bad before bets it's called sandbagging yeah, bluffing. Oh. yeah he likes to sandbagging he likes to that. sandbagging yeah that was my grandpa's fantasy football team <laughs> this the sandbag it's bag. illegal to sandbag it'll, it'll get you messed up in a pool hall too don't what do is that it? well no no what? it's not illegal though to do that it's Round, just frowned frowned upon. Upon. no like if you if you are playing something and you purposefully do bad like in a car race or something like that so you get people to then go and bet money against you because they're anticipating or like expecting you something to perform a certain way. But legally, and what's then, the worst that can happen? What's the origins yeah. of this? Like, uh, uh, like the meaning behind sandbagging? Hot air balloons? <laughs> 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 That's the only time I'm really thinking about bags of sandbagging. I think, I think it has to do with racing. 
you would throw sandbags in your car to weigh it down or something. Oh. Um, so then. And then you would throw the sandbags out and then you would go faster. I, I think so. Sandbag origin. That's fine. Yes. Oh, it is racing. Good on you, Heath. The term has multiple uses, such as a driver who competes in an event in a series below their level of expertise to finish Oh, high. we know that. Oh, okay. Now do origin. Meaning comes from poker, where a sandbagger is someone who holds back from raising because they want to keep their opponents in the game for longer. Oh, okay. um, but where's the bag? Where's the sand? Yeah. Where's, where's, the, where's the sand? Um, <clears throat> when you're like, you're bagging somebody? Uh, is that like the, is there, you're, you're bagging, bagging, anyway. bagging somebody? Wanna, what's that, what's that term mean? You're bagging on somebody? Ragging? Ragging? I don't know. I thought that was a word too. But yeah, it was, it was a really fun trip. It was a really nice trip. And it, the, we've been to Vegas like over 10 times probably, you know, like we go we as a group, have. whatever. But this was the first time that we actually, I realized I never really got to experience. Every time we went to Vegas, it was, we're gonna leave in 30 minutes. We're gonna go see this DJ. We're gonna go to the club and then we're gonna fly back home. Yeah. We, and like, it's either- It was always for a specific it's reason. It's always for a club or the casino. And so this time, we went with our group and we didn't want, nobody likes to go to the club. So we were just like, let's explore the town of yeah. Vegas. So we went to Fremont Street, which is the it. original strip. The old school one. Yes. yes. With like the golden nugget uh -huh. and like yes. the people Seeing flying the down. the golden nugget Binions. was, yeah. oh my <laughs> like, gosh. I was, I every street that I went on, I would look up that street and then a different year, like 1950. Yeah. And I was look, it was just. <laughs> I love it. Un, Some shit Matt would do. Uh -huh. It was amazing. There's pictures of the Rat Pack in front of the golden, oh, oh my it's gosh. It's so sick. It, it was so, such a cool feeling. And like, he was getting emotional because when his grandparents would go to Vegas, that was the strip they would walk down. And the casinos on that strip were um, almost untouched. They the look, they, they look oh, they, old They're still. serving you like yeah. on the street there. Like the bars yeah. are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. really out and the And it's open. just got the that car smell. Yes, the smell, the actual, the cigarette smell. Like, but it's not oh. like muggy. It's just, it's almost like an air freshener. Like, Old Vegas hotel, yeah, like yeah. it was so, the, the carpets were tacky. They were cheetah print and palm trees. It was just like. It's cool. It's just it's like the cool. history is really yeah, sick. Yeah, it felt really, really nice. And we didn't get, there's still so much that we have to experience. Like I didn't mm -hmm. know they had the, um, the bone, the neon bone yard. Have you heard of that? They oh. take old signs like. Uh, all the oh, ones yes. that they don't Stardust, use anymore. Stardust, Hard Rock, like all the old signs that would be around Vegas on yeah. the strip. When they replace them, they don't throw them out. They put them, they set them up nice like a museum. Look oh, how cool that that's is. Sick. So those are the old <laughs> signs that got replaced. Oh, you know there's Instagram girls there. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I want to be next Like that line. to me feels like a zombie land type yes. thing. Yeah. That, yeah. Like the, um, what, what was that? Zom oh, zombie land. That's a movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Love, that's love. exactly what it feels. Oh that's my sick. God. I love that. That. that is such a good idea. Like there's so much to Vegas. Yeah. There's a lot of it's things. It's a to lot do. more than just. Sex, drugs, partying, and rock and roll. you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it's so cool. That, yeah, we went partying to, is stupid. We went to a bunch of Italian restaurants where, like, um, they're like mob themed, and they have pictures of like Sinatra there, and like they used to perform. It's crazy and Elvis. that they would just go in there and like eat. I don't know. I can't get over it. I know. I love it so much. I love it. If these walls could talk, oh, <laughs> you're telling me. The story. <laughs> Do you ever get like upset that you Mops can't get her juices flowing? <laughs> I, love I, oh, I put on my pinstripes for the night, and I was. <laughs> I get so mad that I can't go back in time. I know. Like I not being able to time travel up. like really makes me angry. It works it's, me up. We all wish. That's why we watch stories and movies and, mm -hmm. and read know. books. You gotta read books, Heath. <laughs> When's the last time? Uh, can I have a... Uh, uh, uh... Before we continue, we wanna give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. And if you don't know what BetterHelp is, it is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anybody on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And honestly, it's so much easier to talk with somebody online in a video or even text because it's, it's hard to open up in person. I personally get intimidated. Yeah. Like sitting face to face with somebody and, you know, I just don't want to leave my house at all. I know there's a lot of stress in my life right now, especially with work stuff. And I want to talk to Heath most of the time about it. But like sometimes it's really good to talk to somebody that's unbiased. Exactly. They're not just going to tell you what you want to hear. Exactly. And what better way to do it than from the comfort of your own bedroom, baby? Exactly. Gas prices are so high. Don't be leaving. High. 
No just way. Just stay at home. And especially with the last two years that we've all had, it's it's really good to just talk to somebody. It's good That's, to check in on yourself, yeah. your own mental health. Everybody, you know, takes care of their cars and everything else, appliances in their house, but nobody checks up on their own mental health. Uh, so it's, it's really important to talk to somebody if you're feeling stressed or you, yeah. you know, just got something on your mind and you need to vent. In the end of the day, our bodies... They're like they're like cars, you it's know. Our, you got you got to fill. You, you got to check the oil. You got to fill it up. You got to fill up the tires. You got to change your tires. Exactly, and your body is the is, is your temple, baby. Your body it, is your vehicle. It's your vessel. Exactly. So if you want to be like us and get better therapy, better online help, get better help. Go to BetterHelp because our listeners not only get ten percent off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Zane and Heath, but you also get ten percent off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Zane and Heath. <laughs> <laughs> I get both of those? Yes. Oh, my God. Both. Okay. Uh, and you're going to be doing yourself a solid. So make sure to check it out again uh, and get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P <laughs> dot com slash Zane and Heath. BetterHelp, we love you and thank you for helping all of our listeners. What was your first cuss word? Which is, what, what word did you say that just came out and you were like, God damn. Feels so good. Moron. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I, one time I got beat. <laughs> one time I got beat for saying something sucked. Like the word sucked. Oh, sucked. That was a good a one. Big no Could no. not say sucked. I, no. I used to do I the. I forgot about that. <laughs> I, I got in trouble for doing the uh, suck it. Do you remember that? Was that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. so, like, I, I didn't know what it just, but we would do that. That, lip that was like, suck, suck it. it. Like, suck it. You got those like baggies. I didn't know what the hell that, that meant. No idea, but I remember, I think I did it to my dad or something. I was just like, suck it. And oh man. It's crazy that the term, like the term suck, like where it came from, like, oh, that sucks. Like that sucks dick. Like that sucks. Oh, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Like when you really that. think about it. Like, is that the, is that the origin? I think, well, I think so. So I had a creepy science teacher when I was in middle school. <laughs> I knew it. And he, he made you suck it. No, he we couldn't say <laughs> this was, was so creepy about him is because he was like, do not say sucks in my classroom. You cannot say sucks yeah. in my classroom. And we were like, why? What he, he we'd be like, why? Why? Why can't we say sucks? He'd be like, he said, it's a sex act. What? He said that. <laughs> and like we are in like sixth, seventh grade. That's pretty dude. crazy. That, that is the most that. inappropriate. I think because now visually we are young kids, 11, 12 years old. What and we now sucking? we're thinking about sex, <laughs> the sex act of sucking. Yeah. And you're putting that image in our brain. He did, that's what, he like, did that to say it. Like he said, we're not gonna say suck. So we, the kids would be like, why not say suck? So he could then be like, because it's a sex act. So it, it was like part? his lead up into, oh. yeah, it was in, like, into bringing. I, th like, I, I think that's what the term actually means. I think he was using it as a way for you guys to stop saying yeah. it because he doesn't uh, like. But I, obviously, if he's a, you, obviously, I would never do that. I'm, I don't agree with the teacher. I'm just saying that because it, it, I think that's just like I, the real origin of the word. But if I found out that like my kid is in seventh grade. Oh, no, sixth grade absolutely. Class, Let him say it. And there's a teacher going. Can't say sucks. Why? Because yeah. it's a sex act. That is, no. that is so inappropriate. Just be like, it's inappropriate. I don't like it. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Respect the rule. Yeah. Absolutely. No. I'm Again, I'm not going with the teacher. I'm just saying that's why he said it. But I no, absolutely inappropriate. It's a fucking sixth grade classroom. Oh, I wish I could call out that teacher so bad. Uh, say his name. No. Like, dude, I, I, I <laughs> actually don't. Just don't. I know. If We've got enough trouble. If kids came forward about that teacher, if one student came forward and said that they had an issue, and if anybody else wanted to come forward with the story, I absolutely would. I think that teacher, it's ridiculous. And he's still teaching today. Still teaching. Mm -hmm. Is Do you think he's done other things that are really bad, or was it just Dude, that one he moment? he grabbed me by... I talked what? About this what? On, I talked about this before, if people have listened to it. Grab me by my neck and push me against a wall one time. Dude, I, I vividly remember him doing that. In school. What yeah. did you do? Wow. Accepted it. Thought he I said, was, no. I thought no, no. I, what, why he did he do He said suck. That? I think I probably like was being, like just being smart, like, or being like a smart Aleck and, and just now yeah. like said like, well, blah, blah, blah. and then he was I just I can't like, imagine you getting that is crazy. like choked by a teacher. But it was in such a time where like, we you, thought, like I thought I was getting in trouble and me getting that was better than getting sent to the principal's office. That's you right. know what I mean? There was no moment when we were uh, like little in classroom where that was acceptable at all. Like even like, you know how like back, th like back, back then, like teachers probably hate kids, but like any, our entire like uh, elementary school, middle school, yeah, no. a teacher could not touch. Like, oh, we don't no use hand. 
Corporal punishment. Yeah. He, he also would do pressure points. He would come by. What? And he would, he would, you know, that like area yeah, your yeah, neck yeah. where he sends it? Oh. He would press you and you would like, like lose control. So inappropriate. Did it multiple times to multiple students. And I. That's insane. I, I've i talked about it to some other people who've been alumni when I've like uh -huh. reconnected. I'm like, wasn't he pretty creepy? Everyone's like, yeah. He was no, I remember all that, but I just wish one person would go public with it because I don't, I don't want to deal with the wave. But I hope he's still not doing that. You know? Yeah. I, there's no way he's still doing that now. There's no way oh, because he got called out, or he's no, just because, like, because these, these uh, days he'll get called you out. You cannot go no near. Way. A, you can't breathe near a student yeah. without there being a complaint. Yeah, hundred percent. Like Especially when I went to school, now. you you would be able to like like a lot of teachers would grab like kids like yeah. they would grab. Even that is <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, or if kids like need to be in a line and they're not in line and they, you can't even like adjust that. Like now, now no it's, I feel like now it's verbal too. verbal. Like if you, you're clearly like yelling at a stu student more than like other people. Like, I don't know. Like shit that we dealt with all the time as kids. But like, I feel like now it would get called out for like it, other students would notice it because student, students back yeah. then would never notice that shit. If one student was getting like, yeah. What's harass weird? more than the other kids. But yeah. then like it's it's weird what's weird about that is like, oh, if someone came forward and then I said it, like what I get should he be fired from his position that he's in now? Like what am I doing? Well, no, I'm, like what I don't deserve anything. I'm not expecting anything. I would not say I was traumatized, but it stuck with me. Yeah. Like it really like freaked it freaked me out, but I, I think it would be just to like for for people listening if they had a kid in the class or whatever to at least be aware of the situation and yeah. the past that he has. You know what I mean? To I just wish I could look him in the eye and be like, "That was really weird what you did," and I just want to let you know that I never ever forgot about it. Yeah, and and just whisper to him, just be like, "You're not still doing that, right?" I know. He was a good, but he was a good he was a good teacher. This that's what sucks about oh, it. He oh, was, I, 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 so, so he, so he was. A good, you're saying outside of that he was a oh, very, very fun wow. teacher. He it's would, like it's like whoop. It's like uh, that movie Whiplash. Like uh, what's his yes, name? Yes, it's that Stockholm syndrome yeah. of like you, I you start sympathizing with your abuser. Yeah, like it's that's a great movie. Whiplash. Mm -hmm, I heard amazing it's really good. movie. Not it's my, it's literally the same same situation. Not my tempo. Not my. That's a quote from the movie. I'm not telling Zane. Yeah. <laughs> Get off track. Well, I can't wait for you to show us a picture of him. any creepy yeah. teachers though. That uh, we had. Uh, we had the one guy that somebody dug up pictures of him. Oh uh, no, that was more. That was more like embarrassing. It, yeah, it wasn't. It was just a little, a little bizarre. Because you know, like back then, you could not like follow your teachers. You couldn't add them on like Facebook or anything like that, right? That was like a huge no no. Like teachers would be like, you can't add me as a friend until you graduate. That was always like a thing. Right. Like, in our school, it was. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that didn't that didn't sound creepy at all. Uh, we <laughs> somebody found. I think somebody posed as another person. Like they like catfished their account and then they follow or they added yeah. one of our teachers as a friend and he accepted. And they were able to see all his pictures, and there and was like he he was in like like ball gag and like fishnet stuff, and very like on Facebook, yeah, on Facebook. But yeah. he was like, oh, I think he what? had like a band on the side. Yeah, and I he think would, it was like a costume party or something. It, it, was, it was something. It was just it like, was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> just was, seeing him dressed like that, everybody was like, oh my god. But only that picture got circulated, not like probably oh, the rest man. of the party pictures that were in there. And it was really, and I think he brought it up to the class one day because it got to him that all the kids were sharing it. So he had to um, address it, address it in the closet. How'd he do it? Uh, I wasn't there. What did I was, he teach? Another, well, friends were telling us about how he addressed what it. What was the subject or what did he teach? He was science, uh, some sort of science class. I don't yeah. know if it was <laughs> like a biology or something. Poor thing. That's so embarrassing. Imagine. So embarrassing. Imagine. Did you guys have Facebook pages for each grade where people can anonymous anonymously post like secrets about people in your grade? There was no. ratemyteacher.com that was. Oh my god! Oh, I use that. that all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. go back that. and judge. You want oh. you? You'd be looking for the one with the chili pepper because the teacher was yes. hot. <laughs> Bro, that was for college. <laughs> Explain. That is so funny. Do they still have yeah. that? They have to yeah. have that still. Like, explain what it was. So basically you would go and rate my teacher and you would look up all the different classes that you'd be choosing and you would pick your teacher, but you would look <laughs> and see like the reviews. People would be like, 
uh, bad teacher, they suck, blah, 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 whatever. And then it would, every single teacher had a, a chili pepper that you could rate them on their looks. If yeah. it was a hot <laughs> teacher or A hot teacher, that's insane, hot teacher. That's or not. crazy. <laughs> wasn't there, really wasn't there somewhere like the te like the actual teachers would, would <laughs> leave a review, like this is the teacher, like I have never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> People like, would leave reviews and like, whether they were true or not, the teacher would go under, this is, uh, this is Mr. Whatever, I never so. did that. Oh, it was like Yelp. <laughs> like, sorry <laughs> about your experience. But. That's crazy that they had that like chili yeah, pepper meter. Yeah, it's crazy like, they had a lot of hot. things like that. Did you hear about the whole Cypress Bay incident thing? No. Cy is this a Texas school? No, no it was in, in Florida. Florida. It was what, like this like happened? crazy thing that happened. It was like all over the news. I'm, there was like something like a uh, like a, a nude not outbreak, but it was like something insane where like a bunch of shit got leaked. Oh, like from like Assassination Nation, the movie, or like every. Oh, like um, Heath, I remember that. That's so weird. That was like deep in my, yeah. in my memory. And it was like this whole thing where- It was a whole leak where everybody's news just got released. Yeah, from and it was like, like all like scene kids and just like- It was, like, yeah, it was, it was something like crazy. Because I, I know that there's people that had files or folders of everybody's news, especially in the scene community, like back in the scene days with like all the, you uh -huh. know, the kids. There would be like a they, group of people that collected somehow, they always Yeah, got, they, yeah they, cause I they would get it from friends and then they would start collecting the, it in a folder. It'd be that kid at the lunch table, like, have you seen so-and-so? Yeah, and, he and would they like, would have the whole fun. They would have everybody's energy. They would have it as blackmail. Just this one yes. person, this one kid would have blackmail. We, did, we had something like so, that. That's so crazy. That's it, so fucked it was up that they did that. Time. It was a different time. It was was Remember really that we, we've time. talked about this before, but so interesting. I want to bring it back. Remember that page that um it was like a it was a like a talk shit site. It was a MySpace like page. Like an Ask FM. It was an Ask FM, but it was a public thing where people Spring would, Forum. Like uh, like a oh, like, Spring yeah. Forum. Yeah. Like do oh like gosh. do 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 Moy. What's that page that like talk? that leaks celebrity? Okay, so like it was like gossip. an honest account like do Moy that would post. Um, like private shit of everybody's lives and they were like real like this person was actually getting all this information and posting it on the site and it was true it was like all these scene kids it was like the news it was like the tmz but like nobody knew how this one person was getting all this news mm -mm. and i found out who was running that page oh afterwards. it was a huge page like Everybody, all the scene kids, like the famous scene kids, the right, famous. Right. How'd you people. find out? Because the person told the person told me found like they they logged in, they logged in and show us it was their account. It was insane, so horrible, so horrible. But like we, we I, it ended up being somebody I knew. Wow, wow. Yeah. Jesus, <gasps> close we, per, close person. That's somebody I knew. Damn, Whoa. I'll tell you after. Fucking yeah, nuts. Yeah, there was someone. There was like, Jordan. There was an anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jordan, do you know about this? I think I might know who. Okay, you might know. You did know? They, did yeah, no, you definitely know. He definitely knows. Unacceptable if that shit was Unacceptable. happening. Unacceptable if no, that shit yeah. was happening right now. Like, a, I mean, they do have that now, like shade room and all that shit. They do that. But I feel like it's not our world. We're not like tapped into that. Is cyber bull are kids still cyber bullying? Oh, I feel like, yeah. I feel like now more than ever. Yeah, oh, I feel like huge. now. Uh, Bro, look, I, at the look at the TikTok comments. Uh, Bro, that's, that's all pretty much. I'm cyber getting cyberbullied. But I comments think, is bullying. <laughs> but I think you get like cyberbullied by like the public. I don't. Are kids like still cyberbullying like their school, peers? Yeah. Yes, um, they, I can confirm. That is still happening. You can Shit. confirm. That makes me angry. I just know? thought my like my students and stuff. They were at that age, like teenagers, and they would talk about it all the time. Oh, that people were like, yeah, like, they'd bullied. be like, well, she put this online. Does it happen in person still? Like back then, because in person was really bad. Like in, like in oh, person bullying. bullying. In per oh yeah, of course. Isn't yeah. it strange? I feel we like did. it happens. I, I'm surprised it happens in person still. I feel, I can see it happening online a lot. It's but easier. In person, yeah, for some it's reason, definitely I easier it. online for people, but. There, yeah, in person, like there are more physical altercations than I've ever heard of. Like the students I used to teach, they were in middle school telling me every day about these like physical fights that girls would get in with each other. And I was like, what? I didn't see a fight until high school. Yeah. Cause now everyone's like, like middle school. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of like, if I ever saw a negative comment on MySpace, like on a MySpace I'm sure page. there was. I can't even like. God, I remember my, getting bullied in high school and I cried. Man, it was, uh, you, you, did you ever get to school early in the morning? Like before school started, where did they put you? Did you guys like all go to the cafeteria? No, we just sat in the hallway, like just around the school. Oh, y'all all just like sat in yeah, the hallway. Different parts of the school. Sometimes yeah. we would like go to the gym and we would have to sit like in the bleachers of the gyms. You could play volleyball, but we would like 
for the next 30 minutes, oh, we would just How wait. How early would you get? I would get there on time. Oh, you day. were going to breakfast. No. Uh, oh. You would go early. They had breakfast. I, like I, there was no. breakfast, I never got to do the breakfast. <laughs> but no, it just my parents had to go to work. They dropped me off. School started at 8.50. That's true. Probably got dropped off at 8.30, yeah. 20 minutes. And I remember sitting in the bleachers, watching like, this little volleyball game, waiting to go to school. And they were all the eighth. I was in seventh grade. There was all these eighth graders. And then like this dude comes up to me. I'm in front of all these people and he goes, what's your name? And I'm like, Matt. He goes, your boyfriend's name is Matt? <laughs> That's good. Oh, that, That's he, good. Goes, he goes, that, good. That wow. he just, said, he just yeah. said his boyfriend's name is Matt. Your boyfriend's like, name. And I remember sitting there and like I had nothing smart to say and I just wet <laughs> yeah i can see Matt. I, I can see it right that's now that's such like an uh like our time that's such a sentence that like, it's crazy i couldn't have the balls to say. say that's to somebody like in school it's crazy no, no. how there was a complete opposite spectrum in school it's like somebody crazy. that had the balls to just call anybody it out was, like that i remember it was just like tears but i was trying to stay st so strong yeah. like i wasn't like <laughs> i was just like like no, trying to I'm tough boy, it out and just say like, that <laughs> tears like you can't say like, oh, yeah, how do you even fight back like, yeah. What do you yeah. even say? No, he he knows it works. That's why he uses. It. That's why he used it on that. Oh, it's dude. crazy. I wish I can have. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I wish I can have uh, like my aunts and uncles on to tell all their like schoolyard fighting stories because they are absolutely insane. Ooh. Like, ooh. 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 <laughs> well, when my mom comes on, she could tell her fighting I, stories. I can't. I I can't. Um, wait. but there's a couple stories where like back then you fought. Okay. If my uncle goes home to my grandpa and he was like, so-and-so threatened me with a knife. Let's go back. Let's go right now. Let's go fight my, him. My grandpa would give him a bat to show up to school with. Like wow. it was like, yeah. That's and an they Italian were in, right yeah, there. And they were in like fifth, sixth grade. So <laughs> there's, there's this kid, Richie, that was threatening my uncle David. Um, he told him that he's going to bring a knife to school and kill him. There was like a rumor around the school that wow. like, and he said he was in fifth grade and he goes, Richie, he goes home to my grandpa and he goes, Richie said he's going to bring a knife to school and kill me, whatever. <laughs> so my God. that's when my grandpa gave him the, the baseball bat. And he goes, if anybody tries to mess with you, like, um, Use this. You know what's crazy? That like they didn't just call the school yeah, call, and be like, "There's someone coming with a knife." It was a fears of that. No, there was a student. Yeah, was there no, no phones didn't exist back then? I mean, like, what was, happened? It was student directory. You could literally the smoke on the schoolyard. Like there was, there was like no rule. <laughs> fifth grade. Yeah, in the fifth grade. Um, so he showed up to school and he waited for the school to come out. And my uncle in fifth grade is holding the bat, and he, the school lets out, and he goes, "Richie, you're looking for me." <laughs> I mean, it's like a movie. Yeah, right so so Richie comes over and he and my uncle David takes the bat and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> going like this and then uh Richie was friends with this other girl that my mom previously beat up. She was the school bully. And <laughs> so she showed up to back Richie up. My grandpa showed up behind my uncle. What are these parents yeah, getting yeah, involved? So my like, grandpa, oh. Because my grandpa was like, go fight. But my grandpa stayed behind, close behind to make sure he was going to do it. Showed, With a machete. And he showed up. And my, my uncle is so scared. And like I said, my mom had previously beat up this school bully. So my, my grandpa shows up and he screams at them. He goes, Richie. And he goes, he goes right up. He goes, do you know who I am? And they, they freaked out and they were like, yeah, you're, you're Tina's pappy. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> and they said, we're good. We're all good. And they, they stopped and they said, yeah. And that's Tina's little brother. And they were like, okay, cool. We're good. We're wow. good. But, um, I, I, wonder, wow. I wonder how they're doing. But I feel like that's like Brooklyn though. Like oh, yeah, kids are, kids are still like that. Oh yeah. They're like just very street and. That's nuts. It's crazy. It was a like different Like I hear stories about people getting time. jumped. I'm like, I don't even know. I couldn't even imagine being jumped. No. Yeah. I really. I, I got jumped. Like jumped. What's 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 where, your, what's where the, a what's group your of jump? like five dudes come over. Okay, they, mine was five girls. Not jumped. You got <laughs> jumped. By, <laughs> I no. I got I got my ass beat. They, they physically but, were on the like. 
They they were they were they were hitting me. Where they was where me. was Princess? Wait. Princess was not there late, that day. In the pack. <laughs> she was not there that day. Princess, she used to yeah. she used to be my protector, and she was not there Princess. that day. Isn't getting jumped out of like an initiation thing for who's ever jumping you? Like they're doing it out of their own amusement. Like you didn't do anything to ask for it. The people who are coming over just to it, jump it, you. Yeah, it depends. Think, like you're just going up to beat up this random person. Like right? I feel like Isn't there's some jumping? sort of yeah. Like, I think it makes some it sort depends, of beef. Yeah. Like I, I, I think jump means that uh, like more than two people are like beating you up, right? Yeah. But it's usually for, like when it's clearly not a fair fight. Yeah. Okay. You're getting oh, jumped. All right. Yeah. I thought it was like, I don't know. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, HelloFresh. And if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a delivery service where you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit, baby. So gear up for the busy fall season with over 55 weekly options and take the stress out of meal planning and prepping. From family friendly to fit and wholesome and even veggie, HelloFresh has tasty and nutritious meals sure to please everybody. And we know the fall season can be pretty busy, so weeknights can be made so much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh also has quick and easy recipes, 20-minute meals, and low prep, low cleanup options because I hate prepping and cleaning. It's the worst part of cooking, so they just make it so much simpler. And catch this, now enjoy more variety than ever before with Hello Custom. Swap out one protein or side for another. Upgrade for more luxe experience or even add protein to a veggie meal. That means more choices, more variety, and more meals truly tailored to you and your family. And honestly, I love HelloFresh so much because I get to try new recipes that I never would cook before. It's stuff that I've never heard of, and yeah. all you got to do is just follow the step-by-step, -step and you literally cook something that will blow your mind, impress a family member, boyfriend, girlfriend, a friend. It is absolutely incredible and so much easier than you think it is. Exactly. Not only like that you said it's easy, but I, I love the fact that you can, um, it's like you're spending more quality time with people that you love. Like you get exactly. to with your girlfriend, with your best friends, with your parents, you get to impress so many people and they have no idea. And exactly. it's HelloFresh. It's already and, delivered to your door. And at the same time, all that, you're saving money because you're not throwing stuff away. You're not wasting. You're not overcooking. It's exactly what you need right there on the table. Bada bing, bada boom. I always buy so much more mm -hmm. vegetables and like sides and details and condiments and everything and just, just to make to one meal and it goes to waste. And, and I never use it again because right. those meals are so intricate and they're so specific where... I mean, honestly, it's like the best invention. It's just like specific meals and they give you exactly what you need to the T, to the measurement. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Exactly. So make sure to go to hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16 and use code unfiltered16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Again, all you got to do is go to hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16 and use code unfiltered16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes, and you're gonna get three free gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. You're saying how you wish you had your brother protect you. There was yeah, one time yeah. where my brother did. There was this <gasps> girl and guy on our <laughs> school bus. I wish I could say their names because I, it was, it was- First anyways, names, say the first names. First Who name. cares? No one will uh, find uh, them. But the, two, two, the two kids were Muhammad and um, Ash, Ashlyn, Ash, Ali, Ashley, Ashley and Muhammad, right? Okay. They, um. <laughs> They, we, we were all in the same middle school bus, right? And they would bully me on the school bus every single day. Doing they, what? They, they would uh, just like verbally make fun of me, like make fun of my like outfits that I was wearing. They'd make fun of my hair. They'd make fun of my face, how I looked and everything. And then they would like do this, like on the bus. Like I'll be sitting there and they're like, push my head. It was just like, but every single day, like I got to the point where I hated riding the bus. I wanted right. my parents to pick me up every day. Cause I just, I, it was like a nightmare riding on this bus. And it was happening every day and I stayed silent. I just like kept it to myself. And then one day I like, I think I just like cried or I, or you know what it was? I, I, I cried on the bus one day and I um, got off the bus and I told they, they were, they were both like pushing me. They, oh, this was like the first time I, I felt like it was like a, like I was watching, it was like a movie. I was getting bullied. They're like, oh, what are you going to do, huh? I was being pushed on no. both ends. Like she oh. was pushing me to him Just and he was pushing me back bullying. to uh, her. Classic bullying that happened outside of the bus. And then I went home and I like cried and I told my brother, right? I didn't, I didn't tell my parents. I told my brother, told my brother that I'm getting bullied by these two kids. And my brother knew who that oh, kid shit. was, oh, the boy. Yeah. Let's go. And he knew all his friends too. So he <laughs> called them and they're like, we're meeting at the park. We're fighting. 
He brought all his friends. I just got chilled. And my oh. brother brought all his friends. And they all fought at the park because of they were bullying me. <laughs> Who won? My brother and his what? friends, of course, they won. Thank God. Oh no, my brother had fucking big dudes. He was friends oh with my big dudes. Yeah, he, call, he called in the army. He called in the <laughs> squad nice. and Way they go, came Ollie. ready. He brought like their their Any scrawniest bats? dudes, scrawniest dudes. Steak knives, bats? No steak knives or bats. It was all fists. It was Good, all yeah, it was all just bats. raw. Yeah, I I felt so bad because I obviously wasn't in there fighting because I was fucking. I was tiny. I didn't know how to fight. I, right. But the girl and the guy were both in the. They're in there fighting. It was so embarrassing. Everybody was fighting except for me. They Did it stop? Did the bullying from stop? That. What? Did the bullying stop? The bullying stopped. They didn't say a word to me after. And that's the way the cookie. But crumbles. you know what? One of them did the. Uh, I oh shit! What? I wanted what? to bring this on the podcast. I forgot to say it. So the girl DM me on Instagram like a year and a half ago, right? Shut oh, up. recently. Recently DM me. I didn't screenshot. I forgot to. But she recently DM me. Oh my god, you remember me from school? Blah blah. blah. They, and how do they always forget that they bullied you? No, they no, they remember. They always come back like, "Oh my god, how are you? Uh, do you, you remember know me?" She's bragging like, "Yeah, I used to bully him. He was a loser." Yeah. So wait, wait how should you respond to that? Do, like, I, they, I just they, said, they, I just didn't respond. Yeah, I, don't why? Right. I'm not gonna respond. Yeah. But then, then sometimes though, you just want to go block and then no, for I them th to be like, "What did no, I do?" No, I think the what best did way I do yeah, is ignore it. I want them to reflect. I want them to really. No, I want. To, I want them that, to see that I saw it, and I was like, nah. "Me, go, me going to the block bun is are, they're already winning." They, yeah, They've I agree. Won. I agree. Uh, yeah, good point. Yeah. God, I would just love to yeah. throw a little. Just going, I shouldn't have fucked with them. But the dude, the dude, I and uh, we. Uh, so me and my mom, and my, me and my mom and my brother went to a Dolphins game right recently. Okay, recently and. He, um, we're sitting there. Oh, and this we're was watching last the game. year. It was last when year. You guys yeah. Went, oh, when we went. yeah, yeah, yeah. Walked right in front of me. No so, way. And it was crazy because people were like, so there's a few people coming up to me and taking pictures, right? Because it was like oh, in shit. the end of the game. No one. I, I hate, I hate bringing up the situation, no, but I have to bring this up. The people, the people were coming up and taking pictures of me. And then he came up right after and I went in for a picture. Oh, he my, at, wait. He, he he was in picture mode, so he. Thought I was in it was picture somebody. mode, so I was going in for a picture. And he's like, "No, hey, remember it's me." And I really took a look, and I was like, "Oh my god!" What did you but do? I kept my composure. I kept my composure. I was like, "Hey, how are you doing? Oh my god, nice to see you!" And then and, and then damn. We just, but that it was crazy. crazy. I can't. I, I can't believe I forgot to bring that up to you guys. Holy! Do you moly. wish you would have said something? No. I like the thing is I don't yes. care enough. It's like, but like I think that interaction. They know. I, they that interaction. Know in I would say yeah. something, and I, I would walk. I would go home, and I would think about it all night and regret it. Uh, so I'd rather just. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good interaction because then they are going to ha their kids. Yeah. They're going to teach them. Do not be mean to anybody because you never know. Because they'll be nice to you later in the long run. Because they'll be no, super famous podcast. The fact that yeah. she's like DMing me asking how I'm doing, she probably regrets, regrets it. Regrets it, yeah. And so she's going like to teach her kids. They're going to teach their kids it's not, not to, worth it because you don't know yeah. what you don't know what people are going through. You don't know who they're going to be. You know what I mean? Like I was going just, through a lot in that during that. But time. that guy, that guy who was like, "Oh yeah, your boyfriend's name's Matt." Like that whole thing. If I saw him, would you do it back to him? No, well, no, no, no. What well, I would what's do. What's your name again? The, he my says my it. fan. He oh, he goes. What's your name? I was like Matt. He goes. Oh, your boyfriend's name's Matt. Uh, like oh, your boyfriend's name is Matt. His boyfriend's name is Matt. No, I'm I, like, I, well, that's what you were asking. Oh yeah, said. no, I know. I'm saying if you saw him in if person, I, would you if do I saw, that? This is my fantasy. Him. I want to ro run into him at like a local brewery because that's where like and they he, run and into he people. ended up being gay and, then, and no. has a boyfriend there. Uh, and it was him. You was, know what? I don't know, but I bet he'd be nice. We'd get a beer, we'd chat, we'd catch up. But then after two beers, I'd bring it up and be like, you know what? I just want to let you know that I never forgot that one time you did that it would probably would you make it dark though or would you laugh uh, about no it? i just uh, in a kind of in a way but i would be like forgiving but i just but i'll be like in a nice way like i just want to let you know it i never with me. i yeah. never forgot about that and i know yeah, that we were there's, friends, there's a good way but to i want to let you know i were i really do remember that and like he'd be, probably be like i'm sorry and i'm like yeah, man, i know we were kids and be like, like oh like, i'm fine i'm good i'm living my life like and that didn't affect me but it did stay with me and i want to let you know that those types of things i wouldn't say that part but i go yeah but I just, saying it in that way it would stick with that yeah. it would stick with yeah. him or he'd be like damn man Matt, that like how crazy would you look if you just like you saw him on the sidewalk or like in a mall or so and then you went, went up to him tapped him said that i still remember what you did and then walk away yeah that would be crazy 
that is like, like still in your head. Like you just like that's the first thing you like brought up. I don't. Yeah, I. I think a big thing though is raising your kids to be able to handle a situation like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like obviously, like you're gonna like a lot of people deal with bullying in school, but t- t- if somebody were to be like, "Hey, what's your name, Matt? Your boyfriend's name is Matt," I'd be like, "Awesome, cool." No, you I know well, we, no, but I no heard, the thing is that yeah, you wouldn't yeah, do yeah. that like as a kid. You wouldn't like you wouldn't say something like your brain doesn't process shit like that no, when someone's unless bullying you. you unless, unless you, you train like, them to yeah. be like I know tough sixth graders. All you gotta do, like, look the bully in the eye and go suck, suck it. it. <laughs> suck That's it. all you gotta do. Suck it. <laughs> you you win. That's, That's it. Good. Suck it. Do you want your boyfriend to suck it? Is that it? <laughs> but sometimes I would just get, I, I would get like, I would get emotional because like that happened to me where I would just like march right into the school. I'd be crazy. I don't know. There'd be times where I feel like I'd be crazy. I'd go into the school and be like, no, no, no I, I would like to meet this kid. I just want to talk to him. Like just like so, in, so inappropriate. But, no, no, let me just talk to him. No, 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 I promise I won't. I just, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Just please let me talk to him. I remember in middle school, we were on the, me and my brother were on the bus and my parents were driving behind the bus cause they had to go somewhere. And they were waving oh at me and my brother on the bus like this. And the older, like oh, yeah. the eighth graders were like, your parents are gay, your parents are gay. <laughs> and we never heard that word before. So we went home and we were like, no. what's gay? And of course my parents were like, it means happy. Cause we were waving, we were doing this. So for like three more years, you told we everybody thought, your parents are gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my parents are gay people. My parents are gay. They're very gay people. <laughs> but like, if if your kid like questions you or says something like that, you got to give them the straight up answer. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Because then yeah, they're gonna start because, going around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, then we were just using it and we right. were being offensive. <laughs> right. You got to just be brutally honest. Be like, listen, you can't say this. Yeah. Right. Don't do that. That's not nice. That's yeah. that's terrible. You can't be like, oh, it means <laughs> yeah. happy. really happy. You know what I mean? It means like, happy. That's true. What in the world? Sometimes you don't want to. Sh- you don't want to show the um, the negative side. Right. I think to your kids. Um, I did want to talk about something though. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I want to talk about something too. Okay. Good okay. Uh, have you guys been seeing this TikTok controversy going around about this like pink sauce? Are we trying the pink sauce from the bottle? Wait, what is it? Okay, so people are buying this pink sauce from this like TikToker, like her name's like Chef P or something, but she's like like a fresh new TikToker and she like has this pink sauce and she She sells like jars of her own sauce. Yeah, so she would would talk about the pink sauce and then she started selling it and people, and then it like went viral and people started buying it from her. And it went like, it started to become a trend where everybody was buying it to try it on their TikTok, but she was like selling a lot of these pink sauce bottles but the problem with these bottles is that it was like made with like a like a like a milk type thing, and there's nothing on the bottle that says it needs to be refrigerated. It's not like FDA approved. There's um, oh no, there, uh, the nutritional facts are wrong. Is the, she like? If there's a lot of mis, a lot of typos. On it. Uh-huh. Just the, uh, just red flag all over the place, and <laughs> and and then they and then everybody found out that like it wasn't FDA approved and she's selling it to the masses, oh. right? Everybody on TikTok that's seeing it is buying it, which is a huge problem, especially right. it, like you can't be buying it from like, <laughs> are, like my first question is, aren't you supposed to have some sort of license to yeah, be you, selling food like yeah, that she can get in a to lot of all trouble. around the, yeah. all around the like country, right? Yeah, it's for consumption. So how is he, how is she able to even like start doing that. I mean, you just go, you make a big ass batch of it, bottle it. It's like when start people sell things on Etsy. Then, but I thought like when it comes to food products, uh, like well, you you're to, no, she's, supposed she's to. Not, she's not doing it. You yeah. got it. Do you think she's doing it from her own house or it's like yeah. she's working yeah. with no, her? She, she, she doesn't have a commercial kitchen where she's got like a <laughs> I don't no. know. Yeah. <laughs> what, she's whipping that shit. What, what, is, what is it? Ketchup and mayo? It's, it's like, like the it's secret so, it's sauce? Like, people are saying it tastes like light ranch or something. Okay. But the fact that it's made with milk and it's coming <laughs> in a bag not refrigerated and there's no instructions to say oh it's refrigerated. It needs goodness. to be refrigerated. That's disgusting. That's terrible. Oh. Yeah, that, I just thought, like, I thought that was... I've never seen anything like that happen, like on TikTok. Like I think that's so crazy that like a girl made a song poor, and she's but just I, selling it to them. Obviously, I don't, I don't want to say poor girl, like, no, it, she should have done her research. <laughs> but she, but she, I feel bad that like you had this one product and it was blowing up and like right. you weren't you just fully ready for yeah. what was yeah. to come. It's, it's so funny because she went like, she did a live and everybody is just like fucking roasting her. She's just like, <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, what's her response? Is she like she, she was saying like she was talking about how like like what it doesn't need to be FDA approved like it's just food but like oh, the F in no. FDA stands for food and drug. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh. 
The chef got some heat after an Instagram live session where she appeared not to know that the F in FDA stands for food. <laughs> what do you mean FDA approved? <laughs> I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. Oh my God. That's what she said on the line. Didn't she also say like 440 servings or something like that? Yeah, 444 servings per Per bottle. bottle. Like it was that. (laughs) Just (laughs) been making shit up. Is there you just. But she probably picked just her angel numbers, 444. Yeah. And she probably thought it was cute, like but, an aesthetic. But the ingredients were very interesting that made it pink, right? So let me pull up the ingredients real quick in this. So, But it says, it, it doesn't say anywhere about having dairy in it. Whoa, it's like hot I don't pink. think so. Uh, Pepto-bismol. So the ingredients in this are water, sunflower seed oil, raw honey, distilled vinegar, but on the bottle, she spelled it vingar. <gasps> Garlic, pitaya, oh pink Himalayan sea salt, and less than 2% dried spices, lemon juice, milk, and citric acid. It sounds good. It sounds It does. Poisonous. It sounds exotic, yeah. But there's a there's a certain... <laughs> Wait, go back, go back to the... There's a certain inf- pink fruit that she puts in it. Infamous dipping sauce? The infamous dipping sauce that everyone is raving about. Oh, we got to buy one. We should buy one. We should try it. Place an order. I ain't, I ain't touching any of that yeah, when, until it is FDA When I saw approved. people like trying on that, it, it looked dis- like, I don't know how people were even like buying it. I, I didn't think it'd be that pink. That's crazy. Yeah, that was not, I was expecting like a, a really light. Like a reddish secret, orange. Uh, yeah, secret sauce. Thousand Island. Yeah. Have you guys heard about this building that is like being proposed to be built, I think in Dubai or like Saudi Arabia? To be the yes. Burj Khalifa? The line. The line. Have you seen that? Oh no. Oh my, oh, can, can, I, can uh, I pull it up on here real quick? I, I liked it. Uh, yeah, I liked it too. Heath, you're gonna, you're gonna, this is you're gonna freak the out. The line? Heath. The line. Uh, it's by this. the way, I don't like, this is red flags all Let, over well, the place. Sh- Let me see it. You gotta see this. Yeah, show it to them. For too long, humanity has existed within dysfunctional and polluted cities that ignore nature. Now, a revolution in civilization is taking place. Imagine a traditional city and consolidating its footprint, designing to protect and enhance nature. The line will be home to 9 million residents and will be built with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. And we are designing it to provide a healthier, more sustainable quality of life. The line's communities are organized in three dimensions. Residents have access to all their daily needs within five-minute walk neighborhoods. And the line's infrastructure makes it possible to travel end-to-end in 20 minutes with no need for cars, resulting in zero carbon emissions. By leveraging AI technology, services are autonomous, saving you time and effort. Designed by world-leading architects, the line is 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, 170 kilometers long, and housed within an elegant mirror glass facade. Intelligent solutions create efficiency and year-round temperate microclimate with natural ventilation. Energy and water supplies are 100% renewable. The line is designed as a series of unique communities, offering a wealth of amenities, providing equitable views and immediate access to the surrounding nature. Ain't that so they're getting a, turning a whole city into a line where it's all stacked up in, on, to, on top of each other all the way down. But that is such, to, I feel like that's such a safety hazard. It will, it sounds like it's out of like a young adult dystopian novel. Yeah. Like yeah. it's like out of Divergent or some shit. I don't like, that's like being stuck in a giant mall. Like I wouldn't want to be yeah. stuck in something like that. But you ha- you can have access to all of your amenities with just in a five minute walk from all of it. It's and not for can- me, but I'm sure people will- are gonna jump on it. I am just ter- interesting. That terrifies That's terrifying. me. That terrifies yeah. me too. But it's scary. Oh yeah, it, it is. I, I don't. I don't. I honestly don't get it. What do you mean? Every like. Oh, so there's like. No, I, I I get the diagram. I get the whole pictures. But what? Why? Is, I don't understand. They're doing it because it like it's like more environmental fr- uh, environmentally friendly. And you can live with an amazing view, and you, like <laughs> everything is like provided you. It's great new amenities, and it's seven million people who can like live in this basically this state of luxury, compact luxury. So, so now you just have open land all around you, behind you, where the housing and all those neighborhoods would have been. Yes. Yeah. But you wouldn't have so to. You, so you're cramming seven million people into one line. It's straight out of Blade Runner, man. It, do, it just doesn't make sense. 
Why, mm-hmm. why would why would anybody want to do that? It seems a little too late to. You be doing can have a. Like there's this. definitely. There's. I feel. I mean, Mariah's right. There are seven million people in this world that would want to live in something like that. Yeah. I just think it's. Um, I it, it freaks me out, but I want them to build that shit. I need to know. Just, yeah, to go visit ahead. It. just yeah, yes. just yeah. to. And at the end, like you can go and visit it, like six hour flight from anywhere across the world, like. You have an incredible view and everything's there. All I mean, dude, the lighting in that place is going to be incredible. <laughs> Everywhere you turn, there, there'll never be a dark corner. It's straight out of like, yeah, Divergent or the Hunger Games yeah. or something. How there's also the different sectors in different neighborhoods. Like what's the class divide? I just don't understand the shape of a line. I don't understand it. What do you mean? Right. They, they showed, you didn't see the video of how they would build everything out in a I, line? I yeah, but why not just have like, like one fucking circle? square? Like one because circle, you can one cover square. more distance. That seems, that seems like shit you'd have to repeat and be sp- spread out and do multiple, multiple times. If everything is within five minutes, you'd have to have a, a, a coffee shop every five minutes throughout this line. And it would just, it would, it, that feels insane to me. Think of it like a- Why group. not? I, I understand building up if you have- one fucking square and you have tall buildings like this and I get that seems more convenient to me and you wouldn't even have to travel from line to like end to end if you could just yeah but I bet there's like great yeah, restaurants on one side it, and, I just don't and get nightclubs it. on one side so, it's but, out of efficiency is what they're uh I'm not advocating it, it, to for me this. it seems less efficient I, I I think he's wondering why it's a long line instead of a big square right because the long line, you're still taking up it's like still taking up the same width. amount of space. I think architecturally, yeah. it looks kind of cool that it's a line. Got it. So I think because I feel like architect- you're you feel sequestered if you're in a circle or a square versus a line, you're covering like more distance. There seems like a uh, like a, a, a there's an end point. There's a place to go, and it's larger than life. If you were just in a huge square in a circle, mentally, like architecturally, I feel like you would feel more. Yeah. Wait, now that I think about it, if you're walking for 20 minutes, that's that's like a mile long. No, it's it's not it, it on, on the train. It would take oh, there's four, a train to there. walk it. It said it would take 40 hours to walk from one end to the other. What? Wow. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> they literally, they literally a- took one city and then just stretched, stretched it, it across. Yeah. Like it's fucking stupid. It's the same I, amount I, of. Does it, I, I, I cannot, I don't understand that, it. I mean, it, no, it doesn't, I, I don't like it. I don't think it makes sense to me. I don't, it doesn't make sense yeah. that it's a, um, that it's a. It's just a different shape, line. but I, to me it's I think they're just trying up- to be different. Yeah, I think, I think they're just. But see, the see amount of works. land you cover in that small of a strip of it's a line versus the same covering amount. an entire same just, cityplex. Picture, picture this, and, and then I'm, just, and then picture it like this is full. Exactly. This is We're only talking about this area instead of all of this. It's the same. It's the amount, same thing. though. Yeah, I don't know. you're still covering the same ground. Think about if you're building Legos. If you have 20 pieces of Legos, you can go this way 20. You can make a square out of 20. You can go, go, you can go up 20. It's the same amount of a qui- or or of ground. Uh, ground, you know. It's not the same amount of ground. You're building up. No, they're building. No, long. no. We're saying square, but up. You should have a square footage, man. I'm talking about like the environmental footprint of cre- just a cityplex versus all of this shit that's in one skinny line. I think, is I it, think they're it, gonna be ripping up and doing construction through that entire length when you could have one little fucking city, which is taking up less actual fucking square yeah, what, footage what is it, of the what earth. Is it made of bamboo? Paper everything. It sounds to me. It sounds Paper like walls. it's made out of bananas, banana <laughs> peels. <laughs> it's compost. It sounds like hell to live in, yeah. but I want them. I want to see that happen. Oh, that's pretty. Right, and everybody gets a gorgeous view. I was kidding, Matt. And if there's a fire in the building, there goes the whole line. <laughs> yeah. I bet they There have. goes the whole it's like, line. It's like dynamite. It's <laughs> <laughs> or if there's a flood, forget it. <laughs> forget <laughs> If that train, oh. if that train breaks down, you're uh. fucked. <laughs> what do you walk forty hours? I would, oh I would lose, I would lose my mind if I lived in the only, <laughs> built, like you. There is no going outside. <laughs> yeah, There's no walking around gonna, the street. You're go, you're There's no like exploring. This. Yeah, and you got yeah. fucking dirt behind you. Did you dirt. not see the videos? There's like courtyards and air. It's not as like you're. The what you're thinking in your brain, how like you think you're going to only exist in this one nook and cranny of the entire place, is not what it is. It's 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 literally a cruise. This is bigger I, than I Manhattan. Yes. Oh, it's a cruise. It's a cruise. Yeah, yes. that's it's just like, a long stretched out cruise for. This 40. to me seems bigger than Manhattan. I don't think they're saving space. I think they're trying something different. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't think it has anything to do with has, being environmentally. Dude, it, 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 uh, they're not saving space by doing that. That's for fucking sure. Wow, that looks like a giant it's, hotel. It's basically, I, I understand the- It's the not car- saving space. No, I understand the carbon footprint. You're not going to have cars traveling around the roads. I get that. Right, that pollution sense. Yes. is reduced. Yes. Got yes. it. By a lot. So you hop on the train awesome. and you go back and forth on it. Yeah. I think it's stupid. <laughs> it's, I'm not pro this. Like, I don't think- I'm, I, just, I'm just having like a discussion. I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Oh, that would drive me this, sick. There's nowhere to go. You have nothing to do. You have nothing to do. <laughs> that I would looks lose scary. My it looks like an it's, earth, yeah, it, it it's, looks, it's like giving me anxiety. It looks like an earthquake happens. They split it and they were like, let's just start building in the crack. Good thing there's no earthquakes in Saudi Arabia. I just, I totally made that up. Played. It's yeah. $1 trillion. Is, it, is that how much it was? Well, I feel like I've read that. You got to hit the lottery. If yeah. How, how about you put that in the lottery? Let somebody <laughs> win that trillion. It's a hundred miles long. A hundred miles. That's just, I think architecturally, that's insane. She came in a bubble. She came down in a bubble. Like, look at that. That looks stupid. It doesn't look stupid. It looks scary. <laughs> I think it's it's a, it's I mean, a marvel. I'm mean, gonna be the first one there to visit it. I'm visiting that shit. This is the moment that gets built. No. I'm flying there. This is I mean, none, I this is none of my business. 50, but I'm not living in there. Fifty years to complete. You better be telling like your <laughs> your grandson. Like, you better to work on this project <laughs> yeah. and make the line happen. The line. I think, have they already started building it? it Oh, it hasn't even been approved, has it? Wait, wait are we investing in this or what? No, absolutely <laughs> And for not. that reason, I'm out. <laughs> How old will we be? We'll be, oh, we're going to be 80. Yeah. We ain't going to see it. I don't think it's happening. You know what I, you know what I want to see happen? Sky Cruise. Fucking yeah. Sky Cruise. That's what now I want to see. that makes sense. Yeah. That's, that's less efficient than this. Oh, this is God. renewable energy. I want to soar through the skies, baby. No, that's what we need, baby. That big, <laughs> that big fucking plane. A wave pool in the, in the airplane in Sky Cruise. <laughs> That now that's cool. Does that not look like the fucking uh, what's that baby airplane show or the <laughs> oh JJ the jet plane? Oh my god, <laughs> it does. That is, does. Like, like that is toy now plane. that's cool. I love that. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, that doesn't take up any space on Earth. <laughs> it's in the sky. Uh, that's the sky. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Saying you should make a TikTok like that. <laughs> that oh. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a <laughs> flashlight. Oh my god, look, it's Matt. Look, the green airplane. Oh, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Ew. Now the Ew, that left. is creepy. Keep going left. Were Thomas, <laughs> was Thomas the Train and JJ the Jet Plane, were they friends? They, I were, think they were. They were. I think they're they were cousins. cousins. What a sad life. Hey, how are you doing today? <laughs> Pretty good. You have no neck. What were the problems in that show? Like what were like delays, <laughs> worker <laughs> strikes? Yeah, not enough grease. <laughs> the, the, the the rail wasn't connected. It was like wait, this. that one that one's me with my nose up. The top. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hey. All right, how long have we been recording? Oh, what's wrong? Oh, you don't uh, like you don't like the. I just want to wrap it up. I'm hungry. No, 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 I know. I know. And I want to, we still got to do the, the hangout. This is when you know the episode's coming to a close. We're fucking talking about JJ, JJ the, the Jet. jet You're not going to get in trouble. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure to check out Cremota Coffee. Best coffee in the world. We've got different flavor bags. We've got K-Cups. Cremota.com. we got our new bags that we just released. We've got uh, clothing, hats, mugs. Uh, double wall insulation tumblers. Double wall. We got it all. The wall. The line. The line. Uh, uh, also, got- <laughs> make sure to check out our Patreon. <laughs> Uh, Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. You get early access to our episodes. You get a bonus high episode every single month. We've got different guests. We had uh, Tana and Brooke on. We've had Susie, Alicia, Remy, uh, a bunch of different people. Make sure to check that out. We do a uh, live Q&A once a month as well. And we also have our private Discord. We also do the Unwind videos where we keep yes. the camera rolling 20 minutes after and we get to talk like all right the shit Like right now, we we're going to cut the camera. not feel bad about it because it is private. We're going to cut the camera right now, but we're going to still keep recording and hanging out here. So if you want to see those videos as well, that's going to be on our Patreon.com slash St. and Heat. Yeah, watch, wow, watch no me film stuttering. a TikTok. I'm about to film a TikTok. Oh, we're about to film a TikTok. Right. So see you guys later. Peace out. Peace.